the reason some are so eager to censor history is so folks don't see that they're repeating the worst of our history right now. Uh, and let's just walk through this and you'll see this how similar to today. What was the history that led to Jim Crow? It was very clear. After uh, uh, former slaves, black voters registered at big numbers in the South in the late 1800s, those voters drove a dramatic change in who got elected in Southern states all throughout the South. Um, and what happened as a response to that? The white supremacists didn't quit. They got to work. And what did they do? They claimed that many, many of those voters or all those voters who were somehow voting fraudulently. And they came up with all sorts of ways to make sure that they couldn't vote. You know, grandfather clauses, literacy tests, poll taxes, intimidation, violence. And they kept that new coalition from voting. And they did it to such an intense degree that by the early 1900s, most of the voters that had pushed that change in the late 1800s no longer voted. Um, the same thing is happening literally right now. Uh, and so what was Jim Crow is now Ohio. In 2008 and 2012, a diverse coalition fueled by young voters, but particularly African-American voters, changed this country and changed Ohio. Helped elect Barack Obama president. Uh, it turned our state house blue, elected Democratic governor. And ever since they've had a chance to change that, they have claimed, with no evidence, of course, that there was a problem with voter integrity, that there's been voter fraud. Again, no proof, no evidence, no nothing. And ever since then, they have been pushing to change the rules of how we vote to suppress that new coalition. It's happened through purging of voters. They've gone after early vote. And just a few days ago, Mike DeWine signed a bill that will suppress hundreds of thousands of voters by adding the strictest voter ID requirement, photo ID requirement in the country. Folks, it's the same pattern. It has nothing to do with voter fraud. That's all nonsense. It's back to Jim Crow style politics. A coalition, a diverse coalition is a threat, so they do all they can to destroy that coalition.